big win for you over a, a good opponent, great fight. I mean, how do you feel after that performance? Um, I'm super. I'm super thankful for uh, the win. Thankful for the experience. Thankful to make some money during this crazy time. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, you know, I was. I, I really want to finish these fights, but the kid was real tough, and uh, he really came to bring it today. And and I hope we put on a show for everyone. I'm. I'm really looking for those finishes from here on out. I really want to make some, some. Uh, I think we made a statement tonight. I think I made a statement, but I want to make the statement that I'm I'm out here finishing guys, and I want to be known as an elite fighter because I really believe I'm I'm the best 45er alive. So, um, I'm happy with the win. I'm never. It doesn't matter how good the fight goes. I'm never happy with my performance. So I'm real happy with the win, and I'm, I'm thankful to share it with my people tonight. So. Yeah. It's funny at this point. I mean, you're you're kind of the veteran guy, right? I mean, he's this kind of like Crazy. prospect coming up, a lot of steam behind him. How do you go into fights like that? Do you have like a like a chip on your shoulder against these young guys, or what's the thought? No, I got. I'm still a young guy. I got a chip on my shoulder every day, bro. You should have seen some of the shit I survived, bro. I'll have a chip on my shoulder till I'm 90 years old. Um, everybody who steps in the cage is trying to take something from me. Everything I have, I've fought for. I've never been good at anything else my whole life, dude. The only thing I've ever had is fighting. I, Every time I walk in the cage, Danny Castillo smacks me, tells me this is all we have. Because this is it for me, bro. This is my whole life. Everyone, like, everyone I fight is trying to take something from me. So I always have a chip on my shoulder. Like, you know, you lose a fight, you lose half your money. There's no other, there's no other sport like that. Basketball team might lose 30, 30 games a season. They're still the number one team. Dude, you lose three fights, people are talking shit, telling you to retire. I mean, this sport is not like other sports, man. I, I always have a chip on my shoulder. You're you have to. You have to have a chip on your shoulder. Yeah, your wrestling, I think, helped get it done tonight. I mean, did you know that coming in, or was it kind of an adjustment you had to make on the fly? No, nah, man, I was just in there feeling it and listening to my corner, man. Uh, it's like, I, I've said it like three times in, in the last couple of interviews because people have been asking me about the takedowns. Like, I, I train with one of the best teams in the world. We do everything. Um, and a lot of great wrestlers in that, in that, uh, in, in my camp. So they've been kicking my ass for almost a decade. I'm, I'm a good wrestler, you know. Um, I was just feeling it and trying to listen to my cornerman, you know? Uh, that's all you can do, act and react. They told me to shoot, so I shot. And, and I, I, I made sure to set it up, I took my shot. And once I felt like, once I felt how he felt on the ground, I knew I had a real clear advantage. Um, I think people sleep on my grappling, but you know, hopefully they saw a little bit today. Yeah. You had a real visible reaction to the split decision read. Uh, can you tell what was going uh, through your head? Oh God, it was awful. It was a war. Have you never seen those memes with the little chihuahua and there's like World War II scenes in the back? And he's just like, that's what it was going, it was going through my head, dude. I'm like, are you joking? How, like, if this dude could see it wrong, his buddies next to him could see it wrong. And I'm, um, dude, thankfully, thank God they didn't because I'm really trying to buy a house. I want a big backyard for my dog. And you can't do that with half a check. So I'm so thankful, man. I'm just thank God and, and my team and I'm just, I'm just thankful, dude. I'm just so happy that they saw, that they got the fight right. Cause I really, I mean, he caught me once for sure. I don't think he won another second of that fight. I really, I felt I was having fun. I felt like I was in control of the whole fight. Yeah. Last thing for me, you said you want to prove to everybody that you're an elite fighter. So I mean, those kind of weird times. I mean, what makes sense? Are you? Is this, is this mine? Can I? Yeah, they do okay, cool. every time. So you're good. Yeah, I think it's about time Monster s sponsors me too, cause I, I love Monster. <laughs> Well done. Thanks. Uh, so what do you think makes sense for you? I mean, are you looking at a date on the calendar? Are there names that you're looking at? I mean, what makes sense for, you, for your next fight? <laughs> my, my poor team has had to listen to me answer these same dumbass. Like, uh, I have the same dumbass answers because I just got hit in the head. So it, it, you're going to see like eight interviews where I say the same thing. But I uh, am going to go back, talk to my team, talk to my management. Like I said, I just got hit in the head. I don't want to just start calling names out. I don't like when people do that. There's a, I'm going to call my shots, but there's a way to do it. And two minutes outside of a 15-minute fight, I don't think is the way to just start spouting names off. So I'm going to talk to my team. I'm going to talk to my management, and uh, and we're going to we're going to call our shot and um, fight somebody. Hopefully, the next guys have got a big name. And uh, I got to apologize to them because they've heard the last five interviews. They've heard me say the same things like over and over. I feel like a broken record. Uh, I'm going to go back and talk to my management and my team. Uh, Car ran, car ran good. The car, car ran real good out there. And uh... Andre, uh, right here. Uh, you're throwing that uh, right head kick uh, early and often. Is that something yeah. you notice you take advantage of heading into this fight? Um, yeah, opposite stance. It's a good thing to throw that kick. Um, 
I've done in other fights and didn't get recognized by the judges as much. But you know, when you watch, when you watch uh, good Thai fighters do that opposite stance, you know, it's, it's a good way to shut down. Uh, his power hand if we're opposite stance. And if you saw, he actually did a really, shout out to, to, to Jordan, he did a good job with that to me. I think I had actually gone, he went ortho, so I said fucking went southpaw. And he actually ripped like three back-to-back -back hard kicks. And you know, my arm's not hurt, it's fine. But when he was doing it, it's real hard to fire back off that if he pins your arm to your chest. So I think that's just a common thing when you're fighting opposite stance. And I love to fight opposite stance. I, I'll fight mirrored stance too, but I, uh, or or I'll, I'll fight staggered stance too, but I, 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 when we're opposite stance, you know, might, why not why not let the head kick go? It looked like you were talking to him uh, during yeah. the fight. What were you saying? I always talk during my fights, dude. I, I you could probably hear it better now without the crowd, but I just love fighting. Like when I fought Sadiq, his cornerman was t was telling him when he was on top of me how tired I was, and I just kept telling Lloyd Irving that I felt great. Uh, I've done it a bunch of fights. This fight, uh, he threw like three spinning things that landed. I told him you should just probably stop throwing spinning shit. And then in between rounds, I asked him if he was having any fucking fun yet. And uh, I've probably said some other dumb shit. I just, I just love to fight. And I just, I just talk when I, I talk all the time. Ask my cornerman. I never shut up. So like, when I'm fighting, why would it be different, dude? I'm, I'm having fun, man. Uh, any new additions to the bookshelf? Dude, I gotta stop buying comics. I just, <laughs> I just, uh, I just bought, uh, I went back and bought the 52. I heard it was real good. Yeah, I heard it was fucking great. So I'm gonna uh, go home and digest that. I just finished, um, I'll keep this short for everyone who's rolling their eyes right now. Uh, but this isn't about you, this is about us. Um, I just finished Doomsday Clock, which I really liked. Yeah, dude. You, you liked it? I liked it. I thought the ending could have been, the ending felt a little rushed, but I liked it. Super rushed. Super rushed. The ending, the ending was a little rushed. But on that topic, did you see, uh, do you follow Gorilla the Bear? Of course. Dude, did you see he just did the Dr. Manhattan of me? Yeah. I, dude. I, that was going to be my next question. I am fucking honored. Gorilla the Bear. Wow, dude. Thank you. Like, whoo, whoo. So tight. Thanks. Everyone watching right now has has stopped watching. They're like, I lost him like three nerdy references ago. They are just, we just went down a real rabbit hole. I just, I gained like a thousand followers this week. They're all gone. They've all unfollowed me on Instagram. And, and it's the right move.